Welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Jeremy, I'm here with Andrew. And today, we're going to talk about martial arts, but we're going to compare it to a term that you may not have heard before, because I think we made it up, martial science. Martial arts versus martial science. What does that mean? Well, we're going to figure it out together. So stick around. If this is your first episode of the show, thanks for joining us. We appreciate you. And you should go to whistlekick.com and check out everything that we do and learn what we're all about. We're about producing stuff, whether that's shows or books or products or programs for traditional martial arts throughout the world. We are style agnostic because we believe everyone should just train. Sometimes we say you should shut up and train when people are talking too much about stuff that they shouldn't. We even have shirts that say shut up and train. And you can find them at whistlekick.com. And if you use the code podcast15, you can get them for 15% less. Oh, did you know that all of our apparel is available with free international shipping now? doesn't matter where you are I in the world. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, that was something we wow. rolled out recently. Um, so check out our stuff. If you want to go deeper on this show, whistlekickmartialartsradio.com is the place to go for that. And if you want to go super deep, if you want the behind the scenes, the exclusive uh, free programs, free books, all kinds of stuff that we throw at you for making a recurring contribution, well, check out our Patreon, p-a-t-r-e-o-n.com slash whistlekick. You can start as little as two bucks a month and it goes up from there. It's really cool stuff. We, we appreciate all of our Patreon contributors. So Andrew, yeah, I had this, this thought, I might have had a drink or two. <laughs> it, may, it may be what led to this thought. And I think that that was pretty much it. Didn't I email you? It was like a late night email. Yeah, I think I woke up in the morning and I was like, why is Jeremy sending me an email <laughs> at two o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Actually, I think that was that day because I couldn't sleep. It, it was really hot. I couldn't sleep. I got up, I took a shower, sat on the couch and just, I was flipping through social media. And I realized that a lot of the arguments that we have are because the term martial arts is so broad that there are things that we strong arm in there that really don't belong in there. Hmm. Okay. For, for example, training that is exclusively self-defense training does not involve any traditional training approaches, um, does not do forms, does not do any technique in any way other than technique and training that is applicable to a self-defense combat situation. Should that be termed a martial art? Well, right now we throw it in under that term. Yeah. And anybody who knows me well knows that my definition of martial arts may not be your definition of martial arts, and that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. But what if we introduce a new term that is adjacent? Martial science. I have heard it before. You have? Darn it. I didn't come I up have. with something brand new. All right. No, I have heard. I, I couldn't tell you where, but I know I have heard the term martial science. Okay. Yeah. Well, that makes me a little sad, but that's okay. I, I, I fully understand that I'm not the only one who comes up with great ideas. But regardless, we should still unpack that term. What does that term mean? Now, you can go back. I don't know what episode. We've done it on a bunch of them. Episodes where we talk about martial arts. My definition of martial arts is personal development through the training, the lens of hand-to-hand -hand combat. And there are a lot of things that can fit in there. But it's that personal growth part that I think people really get stuck on. That for me, when I unpack that term, martial art, the core word is art. It's not martial. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We are modifying art with the word martial. And that's where it starts to fall apart. But what about martial science? What is a science? Science is a process. It is a repeatable, testable pattern. It involves hypotheses and it involves uh, repeatability, aka one of the big buzzwords in, in the world of martial arts right now, pressure testing. Yeah. Pressure testing is scientific experimentation of fighting. Yeah. You're testing what works and what doesn't work. Martial science. Mm -hmm. So if martial arts is what I said it was, that's my definition. You can have your own. I don't care. Martial science could be what are the things that work in martial situations? Fighting. What are the things that make the most sense? And this is interesting because it starts to include other things like firearms or 
I mean, we, we could make it really broad and, and it could be military, martial science. I mean, military science is a thing. Martial science, how you define it, if you choose to, could start to include those things. Martial science could be, I don't know, driving around in a tank. I mean, yeah, I mean, There's not a lot of martial art going on there, but there could be martial science going on. Yeah, there. yeah, the, you could I could make you could make that argument for sure. Mm -hmm. So the question is, is this a term that we should adopt? D does it matter? And should we start to draw a line between the two? There's probably a, a I like Venn diagrams. I, I, mm. I, I'm a nerd. Anybody who knows me knows I'm a nerd. Yeah, Venn diagrams. You got you got the intersection. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. And I, you could certainly say, you know, some things that we do are one or the other, some or both, and that's cool. That works. But here's why I don't think I want to carve stuff off, because it complicates the definition discussion. If I say this is martial art, and this is martial science, and you disagree, now we have two definitions that we have to argue about. Yeah, very true. I don't like when we argue at all. I would rather we just say, you know what? If you, what you think you do is martial arts and I don't, but you train and it that, checks your right. boxes and you're happy. How does that affect me? It doesn't. And I will go to the mats figuratively, not literally. I'm not getting in a fight with somebody about this, but <laughs> I will defend the idea that anybody has the right to train what they want. If it doesn't affect you, then just shut up and leave it alone it's a waste of your time you should if you have enough time to complain about what other people are training you have time to train more yourself and that's really what should be the priority but i think that for folks like that who are going to ignore what i just said and they're going to continue to spend way too much time worried about what other people are training maybe this gives them an out maybe they're not actually martial artists maybe they're martial scientists interesting Maybe they have a new way to self-identify that gives them enough space that they don't have to worry about what martial artists are doing. That would never work on the street, Robert. Well, maybe you're a martial scientist. Mm. Maybe that is your priority. Maybe martial science is a subset of martial arts. Maybe it's a superset of martial arts. Maybe it's completely separate and the two shall never meet in the middle. Yeah. I don't know. The thing that gets me about people who use that, that would never work in the street. It's like, well, I, I, I won't, I'm going to take, you know, karate for example, because that's what I train in. Mm -hmm. There are lots of different kinds of karate. There's sport karate. There's, you know, competition uh, kata. There's all these different aspects. And saying something won't work, well, you're probably trying to pigeonhole one kind of karate into what you're trying to do. You know, you, there, there are ways that you can train karate effectively for the street, mm -hmm. but are you now, but, but that stuff wouldn't work in a competition. It's in sport karate, right? Cause we're, we're using two, we're doing two different things. We're calling it one thing. We're calling it karate, but that, but you can't pigeonhole it into every single scenario. Right. And this is where the why becomes really important because very few people are training for a single reason. Exactly. When I go and I train, why am I doing it? Well, there's a social component for me. Mm -hmm. There's a, a fitness component. You know, I, I get some movement. There's a self-defense component. There's a creative outlet component. Um, there's a mental component, an emotional component. I, I vent through my techniques. And I bet for a lot of people, that list and maybe more works for them. We probably all, most, have similar lists prioritized differently. Yeah, yep, exactly. If there was only one thing on the list, it would be really easy to define what we should and should not be training and how and how often. It's but almost we, like everyone's different. Oh, it's almost like food. Do we eat the same thing all the time? No, because we value variety and we value taste and we value, you know, I've got a garden. I value going outside and being able to pick some food versus going to the store. 
And I value food differently when I'm having a meal with someone else. You and I had a meal on Friday, Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> I don't remember. Days are blurry. We had a meal on Thursday. We went to a hibachi grill because there was an experience, a show associated with the meal. And it gave us the opportunity to talk while that was going on, right? There are lots of different reasons to do lots of different things. Mm -hmm. And I think this term, though I'm not going to use it, becomes a perfectly valid term for someone to hopefully let other people go do their own thing. Yep. If you can't stand other people doing certain things in their martial arts, there's a good chance you are a martial scientist, not a martial artist. Yep, I'm with you. I agree. Okay. If you don't agree, I want to know. Tell I want to hear about it. I, I This is a, a, though Andrew says he's heard this term before, though this is not a brand new term, it's new to me, and this is the most I've thought about it. I didn't spend a couple hours thinking and writing notes on this. I just kind of, I just kind of went, I went for it. So there could be aspects of this conversation that don't make any sense to you. I want to know about that. Help me in my understanding of this new terminology. And maybe we'll do a follow-up on this or maybe I'll do a retraction. Eh, that's not really my style. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My goal for any episode we've ever done has never been to convince you. It is to make you think. If you listen to this episode, you disagree 100% with everything I've said. If you even disagree with the intro, that's fine. I just want you to think. Because the more you think about who you are and your place in the world as a martial artist and beyond, the better I think you are as a human being. I don't like when people just take information and stick it in the brain and it just sits there and they take it out and they use it and then they put it back. Information should be worked with just as we should work with our techniques. We should work with each other. Okay. Email me, jeremy at whistlekick.com and follow us on social media. We're at Whistlekick everywhere. Go to whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. Check out the transcripts, links, other episodes. Uh, there are a bunch of episodes we've done that are similar to this. Just use the search function. You'll find them. Or you could support us by telling people about what we do. You could make a purchase at whistlekick.com. You could join the Patreon. You could uh, leave a review, buy a book on Amazon. So many ways you can help us. To those of you who do, we really appreciate you. Thanks. Until next time, train, train hard, hard, smile, and, and have, have a great, great day. day.